Welcome back, curious people. We got a fun problem today, so let's get started. The statement reads, find the field inside a sphere of linear dielectric material and an otherwise uniform electric field E0 by following the method of success successive approximations. First, pretend the field inside is just E0 and write down the resulting polarization P0. This polarization generates a field of its own E1 which in turn modifies the polarization by an amount P1, which further changes the field by an amount E2, and so on. The resulting field is E0 plus E1 plus E2 plus dot dot dot. Sum the series and compare with the previous results. All right, so what should we know for the problem? The polarization, as defined by the electric field, and the electric to field, as it's defined by the polarization. All right, so for our solution, if we are given E0, we need to find P0. This can be done by using the first equation. Okay, easy enough. Now that we have P0, we need to find E1, which can be given by the second equation. Except now that we have E1 in terms of P0, we need to substitute in P0 and find out what E1 is in terms of E0. All right, so we see that there. Epsilon naughts cancel, and we're left with chi uh, E over 3, E0. And of course, now that we have E1, we need to find P1. So multiply E1 by epsilon naught chi E, and we see that we have a square term now. But now that we have P1, we need to find E2. So we gotta substitute that in. And I think there's a typo there. There definitely is. There should not be a P naught there. Um, so scratch the P naught out, but E2 equals P1 over three epsilon naught which we see is the term in the brackets. So again, epsilon naught cancels, and we're left with the square relation here. Um, and this square relation for E2 will help us uh, combine this into En equals negative chi E over 3N times E0, which then we can write as a summation from N equals 0 to infinity uh, of negative chi E over 3 to the N times E0. Now, what's special about this is this is a geometric series and can be summed explicitly using the formula sigma uh, from n equals 0 to infinity of x to the n is equal to 1 over 1 minus x for x less than 1. Um, so we see the terms in reds are, are interchangeable, so we go ahead and substitute that in. And we're left with this expression here for uh, applying the condition chi e has to be less than 3. Uh, but does this agree with what we found in the text? Uh, so in the text, we had uh, E equals 3 over the dielectric constant plus 2 times E0. Well, we can simplify the result we just found by multiplying numerator and denominator by 3, and then substituting in the relationship between chi E and the dielectric constant. Um, and then we see that they do indeed verify one another.